In this video, I'm going to give you an overview and explain how best to use all of Meta's new AI features that are within their ads platform that they've collectively termed Advantage. They're Advantage Plus features. I'm going to explain to you what they are and how best to use them, but pay attention because if you use them incorrectly, you can burn through a ton of cash. So let's get into it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into the system here and I'm gonna explain first. So if you come in and you create a sales campaign nowadays, what you'll find is this comes up, an advantage plus shopping campaign. All that is, it says here, to maximize performance and reach valuable audiences with a simplified setup. Preset settings include placements, age, and more. All it is doing really is broadening out your targeting options. It's just gonna target everyone in the UK. Now you can give it some steer. You can communicate to Facebook. These are your existing clients. So it will understand things like your custom audiences, your lookalike audiences, all of this sort of stuff. It will factor all of that in if you have built that in the audiences section of your Facebook ads. So let's have a look and let's see what that looks like. Now, what we find is Advantage Plus campaigns work great when your product or service is really easy for Facebook to understand and you can target it a broad national audience. If your stuff is more complex, if it's more niche, if you wanna target people just within 20 miles, then we don't suggest you use this setting. We suggest you go for manual campaigns rather than the Advantage Plus. But if you're selling something like t-shirts, sports equipment, shoes, garden furniture, all of this side of things, then absolutely this is gonna really, really work for you. And in fact, if I just show you uh, the client, this is a garden furniture client that we have. We're using Advantage shopping campaigns. You can see here they've put in 2,000 pounds, which has just that one campaign produced 95,000 pounds in return. This is because everyone understands, Facebook understands what garden furniture is and it understands who is in the market looking to buy garden furniture. It's a really, really simple thing, but we've got another client, the Football Fun Factory. They're looking for someone really specific, qualified football coaches who want to purchase a football, a children's football franchise. It's harder to understand. It's a more specific individual they're looking for. And when we have run Advantage, it's actually tailored leads campaign in the leads objective. But when we've done that, we found that leads quality is really, really reduced. So it doesn't work well for them. So it's an absolute great feature if you've got an easy to understand product to a national audience, to a big, broad audience. Outside of that, we suggest you stick with a manual campaign. Okay, so the next part that we're gonna talk about is the Advantage Plus audience. What is it? So we're gonna come down into here. This is an example client account of a really successful campaign that we're running. This wasn't an Advantage Plus campaign. It's an earlier campaign that we're running. We're now doing Advantage Plus shopping campaigns for this client, but at the time we were doing manual campaigns as part of a test. This was the Black Friday campaign. And what you can see here is that the audience size is basically everyone in the UK, 49 and a half to 58. 8.2 million people so just everyone in the UK and if we come right down here to Advantage Plus audience you can see that it's turned on but it's a really really simple product it's a really really simple product it's easy to understand it's garden furniture it's rattan garden sets and all of this type of thing so it's okay to go out to that many people it's really simple for the AI to understand and anyone with a garden is a good client for this kind of product so by just going broad it really really works however for another client that we were doing some lead gen for recently it's a photography business advantage plus audience almost always produced worse lead generation results in terms of lead quality so we would get the leads coming in but because you're going to such a broad audience and you haven't really really narrowed it down it just didn't perform very well so you can see here that you can add audience suggestions now this will be something that people are used to seeing so this does open up the old-fashioned the old-school audience targeting options so you can add in your custom audiences here which you should have uh, gone ahead and created and you can add in your detailed targeting but these are are just suggestions and you won't see if you add that stuff in any meaningful change to the um, audience size up there 
As with all advice that I give on this channel, everything around Facebook is around testing, testing, testing. So we, what we have found for this particular client is that the Advantage Plus shopping campaign with all the presets works fantastically and having a broad audience works fantastically. But when I was doing lead generation for this big photography business down in Hampshire, what we found is giving the AI carte blanche to just go and target whoever it wants really, really did drive down the results of our lead quality, not quantity, and quality is more important. So get in there, give it a go, run a couple of campaigns, some of them use Advantage Plus audience and some don't, and see what different results you get in the performance there. Another option that we got here is this Advantage Plus placements. Now, Advantage Plus placements, quite simply, is just telling Facebook, show it to wherever you like show it across all of your different areas just find get me the results use your ai to work out are people converting best from reels the facebook feed facebook video etc etc and just show it more on those platforms so that's all it's doing it's really really good to do that if you can but if you've got specific creatives like you're running things in the vertical if you're running things in horizontal if you've got video you might want to restrict some of that similarly you might already know that your conversions don't come from Instagram they don't come from Reels, so you might want to restrict it onto the Facebook feed or any other platform Okay, so now I wanna to talk to you about Advantage Plus Catalog. This is one of the newer features that have been released by Facebook, but the results we're seeing early doors is that it is incredibly powerful. So catalog ads have existed on Facebook for a very long time. So essentially you hook your Facebook ads platform up with your content management system on your website. The pixel pulls through all your products, all your product descriptions. You can then customize carousel ads. So these are the sort of endless scrolling ads that you will have seen on Instagram and Facebook where you can scroll up to 20 different images, all sorts of different products. The fantastic thing about the Advantage Plus catalog ads is it will customize those images, those feeds, depending on somebody's shopping behavior. So with this client, they sell a range of different garden furniture, including barbecues, external kitchens, pergolas, uh, garden sets, fire pits, and more. Now, if somebody has been specifically looking at fire pits on their website, so let's say we're running a bit of retargeting, somebody's been on their website and they're specifically looking at the fire pit ads, then what an Advantage Plus catalog will do is recognize that user behavior and it will serve ads that just contain all of the fire pits to that individual. So you can see how that's so powerful. Now, everybody that watches this video will understand a time where they've been looking at something on Facebook, then instantly they're seeing ads with these carousels with the exact product they're looking for. These are the Advantage Plus catalog ads, and this is one that we've created for this client. So you can see here that this is only, uh, it only takes across five different images but when that ad goes live that could contain a great deal more really really easy to set up what you do have to do is customize what information you want it to show so we've chosen just the product name and the price because that's what people want to see they want to know what it's called how much it costs in fact you could even argue that the picture it doesn't really matter what it's called because the picture sells the what it is and they just want to know the price and particularly they want to know the discounts that are available because the reason this client's campaign is working so fantastically well shameless plug 160 ROAS over the last few days so it's really really improving as now the weather started to improve but the thing that's drawing people in is this big hook at the top here which is up to 70% off garden furniture which are genuine discounts that they do run on some products this ad draws people into the website or through retargeting draws people back to their website with the promise of these big offers will they buy the stuff that's 70 percent off often not often they come back in and they just buy whatever they're going to buy whatever it is they want whatever takes their eye regardless of the discount but the discount gets them there so yeah really really easy to set up you can edit the creative you can create sites slideshows or single images whatever sort of you want to do it's really customizable we've gone for some really really simple copy here because the images sell the product and uh, the discount is the hook that really really brings people in but we have that call to action in there just shop now nice and simple and that's that's it, it's an incredibly simple, yet incredibly powerful, powerful tool, particularly if you're selling products in a B2C sense. So that's a quick overview of all of the new Advantage Plus features. There are some other little AI tools in there, such as the uh, copywriting, 
but I've got another video that's coming out about how best to use AI to write fantastic copy. I don't suggest to use the recommendations within Facebook just because we have found it doesn't produce the best stuff. If you write your copy to a high standard, it will give you some variations based off that same copy. So it will just slightly and chop and change it. It will make it a bit shorter, a bit longer, that sort of thing. It can be effective for that. Do like and subscribe. Have a look at the video around using AI to generate copy because that's going to have some far better advice and guidance for you around that so i hope you like that video i hope it helps any questions leave them below we will answer and we'll see you next time